All right, let's talk about the yellow trucking bankruptcy. Yellow Corp was a $5.1 billion North American trucking company, and they operated the nation's second largest less than truckload network. And today they said they'll be filing for bankruptcy. Now, this was one of the few remaining union trucking lines. And over the last year, the company had failed to make a deal with Teamsters. Even though the Teamsters had continued to delay a strike, understanding how important the business of this trucking company was to just the way we live as Americans. What is so unfair right now is people are blaming the union for why this company went bankrupt. But there is only one man to blame here. And that is this friggin' guy. This is Darren D. Hawkins. He was the CEO of Yellow. He worked at Yellow since the 1990s, but since 2018, he's been the CEO. And he boasted about making new investments in all kinds of fancy trucks and opening 16 driving schools to, like, build the pipeline of future drivers. And in 2020, he took a $700 million loan from the Trump administration. That money was part of a $17 billion fund that the Trump administration set up to assist companies deemed crucial to national security during the pandemic. Now, at that time, the Democrats had the majority in Congress, and the Congressional Oversight Committee questioned the loan. And Trump's Treasury Department Secretary, Steve Mnuchin, said, The YRC carries 68% of the Department of Defense's less-than-truckload shipments and is the leading transportation provider to the Department of Homeland Security and U.S. Customs and Border Protection. And so the loan was approved. Even though, at the same time, YRC was being sued by the Department of Justice for lying. They had allegedly defrauded the government by artificially inflating the weights of its shipments, and they settled with the government in March of 2022 for $6.85 million. All of this happened under the direction of Darren D. Hawkins. Even with a $700 million federal bailout, even with a robust book of business, he could not run the ship. And I suspect he knew it, because over the last two years, Darren D. Hawkins has dropped $1.45 million in YRC stock. And you want to know who the other most active traders of YRC stock are? Daryl Harris, President and COO, Yellow. Daniel L. Oliver, Chief Financial Officer, Yellow. And Leah K. Dawson, EVP, General Counsel of Yellow. Darren Hawkins is also a longtime board member of the American Trucking Association, you going to tell me he didn't have any friends he could lean on and be like, yo, our business isn't doing so good. Can we do like a little collab? Can we get coffee and talk about it? Couldn't have worked with anyone on that board to avoid this catastrophe. This failure sits on his shoulders and his shoulders alone. I genuinely hope that the Department of Justice investigates this. Now, how is this going to affect the average person? The company handled only about 7% of the nation's 720,000 daily LTL shipments last year. It was one of the few remaining union trucking lines. A lot of their business had already shifted over to other providers, so it's not likely we're going to see a huge disruption. Who is going to see a disruption are the 30,000 union workers of yellow trucking lines. Many have already been laid off. There may be more layoffs coming. 30,000 union workers are being affected by this. And their options for finding another job are likely not going to be another union trucking gig. Because 40 years ago, Reagan deregulated the trucking industry. And over the past 40 years, more and more non-union trucking companies have popped up and taken over. You think that this wasn't planned? Well, then you think better of people than I do. This kind of stuff is maddening. Because yellow will go through the process of bankruptcy, which doesn't always even mean that you lose your business. It just gives you the opportunity to restructure your business, restructure your debt, potentially have somebody come in and buy you out. It gives them the opportunity to no longer be forced to be a union trucking line. And that sucks. And this coward has said nothing to the families. Some of these people were second generation truckers for yellow. It sucks.